Would you like to pimp your garb with some hand sewing? Stay tuned as we show you how to do the whip stitch in two minutes or less. Hello, I'm Lelena, and I'm one half of Thimble and Plume, and we are longtime historical reenactors with an interest in German Renaissance clothing. And this channel is our way of sharing the things we have learned over our years of experience of creating clothing. The whip stitch is a finishing stitch that's often used to sew down the edge or the fold of a fabric. You can whip one edge down to the body or to another edge. Uh, you can whip the fold down to the body or a fold to fold. Um, it is most often used in the internal construction of garments and it can also be found in seam finishes and hems as well as in construction of undergarments. And now I'm gonna walk you through how to do this stitch in two minutes or less. Ready, set, stitch. I'm gonna take a little bite here straight across from where I just came out since this is my beginning stitch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my needle perpendicular to the edge of the fabric and then I'm going to go into the body of the fabric taking a small bite of that fabric then I'm going to go into the seam allowance. I'm going to repeat that again keeping, per keeping it perpendicular little tiny bite out of the body of the fabric and straight through. Now the reason why I want to keep that stitch that I'm going as I'm going through the body of the fabric really small is because you're going to see this on the outside. So if you take a big stitch, it's not going to be very nice looking. And we just keep repeating this straight across to the other side in the body out the fold. Body out the seam allowance. In the body, out through the seam allowance. And remember to keep that needle perpendicular because what you want are those cute little hash marks as you go. Just like. Now when I'm pulling, I'm pulling it taut but I'm not pulling it so hard that it puckers. I want my stitch firm, but I don't want to pull really hard because I don't want it to pucker and it will pucker. And tie off. Done. How'd I do? <laughs> and then this is what the front looks like. You can't see any of those stitches at all on the front of the fabric. We hope you enjoyed today's two minute tutorial. And if you did, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below.